Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Grandia Parallel Trippers. Today, we're still going after all of those crystals. So we're here in the yikes, Sea of Trees. Yeah, and uh, the crystal here, we've actually never seen it. So it's quite a ways to get to it. But first, I just want to make this little secret shortcut right here over to this frog that Lean seems to like. Oh, I didn't say you were a bad frog or anything, we just said you were a frog. What's wrong with that? Uh, hey, and for doing that, we get all healer plus. Which we've already had for quite some time, but okay. Thanks, I guess. Anyway, now to actually get to that crystal, we need to get on our boat. You know, for this being the first area of the game, it's actually one of the most complex areas in the entire game because of the boat system, and then the river, and then you have the mushrooms going on, you have all this jumping and everything. It's just kind of annoying. I really don't like this area. I don't like navigating it, and I'm very happy that this is probably going to be the last time that we ever have to go here. Anyway, get off at this stop. And let's see. I want to go over here, and at this really narrow point, we can actually jump on over. Hmm. Not that we can do there, so we can't go down there either. But we do need to find a way across through here, so let's just jump, and then go over here. Let's see, keep on moving. And jump on over. I uh, can't go down there either. Yeah, it's not going to let you go down there. Um, you can only go over to this flower to hit that. To activate the mushroom. Let's see. And I think that we have to go all the way out of here to go back over that mushroom, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. There we are. Not all that complicated, but kind of obnoxious. Get that flower, then go over this mushroom. And let's see. Go ahead and grab this treasure! All that for 500 gold? Seriously? Ah! Nope! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I want to make sure that I go uh, on that bottom little spring first. Get a defense seed. And then this place, it never really shows up on the map. It doesn't show up on the map until you actually go to it. So, whoa! Yeah, whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should be holding down the, um, the B button to run. Okay, so the puzzle in here is these little bugs right there. Yeah, they're gonna move opposite of the way that you're moving. So what you wanna do is put them on top of that switch and then just make the switch explode. And then avoid them so that you can continue on. This reminds me of hitting, um, there was something similar to this in Dragon Warrior 4 for those of you who have played it. But the nice thing here is that you can walk against the walls and the monsters will still move. Like, I could just move just to... Urgh, get me off these damn stairs. Okay, let's try this. So I'm gonna put myself in here, and then just continually move this way. And let's see. Okay, so you can't... Let's see. Let's move you over here. Move you down. There we go. And then move you up. Don't push me over. There we go. Perfect. And with that, we've made it to our boss. This is probably the most complex crystal that we have, with the most complex puzzle, as well as the most complex way of actually getting to said crystal. So here we have to fight another mechanical type monster who has a lot of physical defense, so we're going to be using defense down um, against him as well. You can steal a killer piece from it if you want to. I'm probably not even going to bother getting it. That just raises attack power and stuff, and I really don't feel like lowering attack power. I really just feel like uh, lowering defense power instead. And... Mullen is going to be dealing most of the damage to this guy because I am going to be using defense down against him. Lean, she's not terrible, though, but um, she can't compete with Mullen's um, cancel sword combined with multiple defense downs that I'm going to be inflicting on him. Let's see how well this does. Okay, yeah. So, only 273 damage. 
at first, but we're going to be having another defense down going against him. And let's see, we'll stick her right here so that maybe there might be a combo. Or not. Wow. They got really fast really quick. Let's see, we'll stick you back here. Power up that sword just a bit more. Okay, very good. Yeah, he should have roughly like zero defense at this point. Keep in mind that defense and magic defense are different. I am continually lowering his um, his defense power, but I'm not actually lowering his magic defense power. You know what, we might as well go ahead and sniper shot him. Uh, let's see, I'll stick the sniper shot here. Since he is going to get an attack in, I might as well try to lower his attack power by stealing that killer piece there. Ah, hey, and it missed! Sweet! That death cut that he just used would instantly kill anybody who is lower than 200 HP, so do be out, do be on the lookout for that. What kind of combo did I get? Oh, a dragon break? Whoa! Holy crap! <laughs> That's what I like to see. Okay, got the green orb. Next up, Ghostland. I made my way over here to uh, Ghostland. And uh, one change that I made was I gave another defense loss to Lean. So she has some more things to do well in um, battle. And I actually might give her a WoW card as well, which raises one person's physical attack power. Yikes! Let's see if I can't avoid these enemies here. I Hopefully I can! Damn. Yeah, no such luck. Okay, just get some fruits here. Awesome. I really need to use all these fruits. I keep on forgetting to use them. Okay. So just more jump. Bing. You know, the jumping wouldn't be so bad in this game if the controls weren't so horrid. The responsiveness of the controls is really bad, and it's not my controller either, because I play other games with this controller, and this controller is fine. It's this frickin' game. Another change I made is I gave custom lore over here to David so that he has access to, or that's, or, what am I trying to say here? so that he can deal extra damage to Leviathan, because Leviathan, as you probably probably know, is Aqua-based. Let's see, go ahead and use a Time Gate. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, for these being post-game bosses, like, they really don't pose a threat to you at all. It's so... Easy. I mean, they give you this time gate spell, which is so ridiculously overpowered. Without it, I'm sure it would be a lot harder, but honestly, I don't really feel like making things harder for myself than they have to be. It just is what it is. Okay, hey, got him down. Awesome. And you know what? Let's go ahead and have him start using his custom lore as well. Let's see, stick that there. Have you go there with it. Some extra damage. Oh, nice. Yeah, it is bow type, so it gets an extra cancel effect from being past um, level 4 on the action gauge. So that's kind of nice. Kind of interesting that a aquatic type monster is using lightning its damage. You would think it would be using water-based spells, or at least ice-based spells, you know? Let's go ahead and use another defense down against him, and we'll stick that defense down in front of David so that he can benefit from it from his um, custom lore there. Um, more than likely, after this custom lore, one more cancel sword, and he's been defense downed twice, it should be fine. Yeah, that's so good. Hey, there we go. Awesome. Okay, perfect. One more orb down. Next stop is World's Edge. Here we are. And the crystal. 
it's not hard to get to, it's just a little bit further away than some of the other crystals. But we'll be there right now. Oh yeah, this crystal is so easy to get to. Yeah, it's like, hey, you can do this jumping and fight these monsters, or you can just take secret sort shortcuts. And I would much rather just take the shortcuts and not have to deal with any of the uh, monsters there. If you care about filling up your database, like in seeing all the monsters in the game, hey, have at it. Personally, I don't care one iota about that. Anyway, this guy has a ton of defensive power. He is mechanical type, and most mechanical type monsters have tons of defense power, and magic isn't really all that effective against him. So we're gonna be using defensive down with um, David as well as with Lean, and Mullen's gonna be dealing most of the damage. Because even if you have him defensed down pretty much all the way, bow type attacks really don't deal all that much damage to him for whatever reason. Let's see, we'll use a Cancel Sword. Um, yeah, we'll stick him right back here. Why not? That way he can benefit from the first defense down and don't have to wait forever and a day for him uh, to actually attack. Yeah, and whenever he does attack you, he lowers all of your stats, which really sucks. But he's lowering David's stats and lean stats, and hopefully he keeps on doing that because all they're going to be doing is casting defense down pretty much the entire fight so that Mullen can deal the damage. I'm going to show you. I'm going to use a sniper shot against him to try to steal his accessory, and I'm going to show you why I don't want to attack with David. Um, and, and you'll get to see how much damage he actually does with his bow. It's really pathetic. Yeah, 57 damage. It's, it's like, why even bother when Vermullen's dealing like 500 damage with a sword-based attack. And it could just be because... Okay, I want to cancel that attack. Um, and it could just be because... Um, what am I trying to say? Oh, because David's bow is so low? Even though he's been using bows the entire game, he's at, like, level 7 in his bows. Um, and Mullins is so high. But who knows? It could just be some sort of innate... Um, defense against bow-type attacks, too. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see, we'll use another defense down against him. Probably doesn't have all that much defense left. Yeah, he's at one defense, so I'm not going to worry about another defense down. Um, I guess I'll use a sniper shot. I mean, there's nothing else for him to do. Why not? Not going to deal that much damage, but it's something. You. You don't have any physical attacks, so... We'll use a Burn Flare. I don't think it's going to deal that much damage either, but yeah, it's something. Whoa! <laughs> wow! That sniper shot dealt a shit ton of damage. Yeah, it's amazing how much damage you can do whenever he has zero defense. But hey, and with that, we got the blue orb. Perfect. One more orb to go, and that's in the Sea of Tranquility. I've made my way to the Sea of Tranquility. And let's warp on over towards the dungeon. That's where I want to go. Closest spot to get to this uh, crystal here. And it's just right on through. Ah! Here. Perfect. You can one-shot those guys with a burn flare, so yeah. This is um, an aquatic area. So this puzzle is a stair puzzle, although it's really not much of a puzzle, considering that there's only one way to go in all these stairwells, you know? It's kind of ridiculous. We get a full swing and a sniper shot. The full swing, I think, is new. It's an axe-based attack that deals damage to all enemies and it has a chance of canceling their actions. I don't really care about it, but it's there. And then in order to get to the boss, you have to just take these bottom stairs over and over and over again. Again, this really is indeed any kind of maze or a puzzle at all. It's really simple. And we have yet another aquatic boss! Let's see, we're gonna be using, uh... Uh, we could use a custom lore against it. Why not? Let's go ahead and power it up a bit, though, before we have a uh, defense down. But I want Lean to use... Time gate before defending down. Let's see, so let's go ahead and use that. 
It's so nice that you don't have to power up Time Gate. It's so, so nice that no matter what you do, it will always paralyze, like, everything. It's so good. Uh, too bad we can't cancel his action. Whatever. Oh, look at that! An aquatic-type monster actually using an aquatic-type tack! What a concept! Who knew? Let's see how much custom lore does. Ooh! Wow, not half bad. That's with no defense downs, either. The thing that I like about defense down, um, rather than using, like, an attack up, is that you're actually lowering the defense of the monster so that Mullen's attacks and David's attacks can both benefit from the defense down. Whereas, if you were to, um, raise a party member's attack power, that would only benefit the person that you targeted. But here, you're, at, you're able to benefit both of your characters, which is really yeah. nice. I targeted the wrong thing. I want to target you. Now let's put you in between. Oh, I can't. Uh, we'll put you back here. Maybe you can get a combo with him. And give it a shot, at least. Yeah, and the really crappy damage from these enemies continues. It could also be because I have Satan Rings equipped, but hey, whatever. That's a whole different story. Oh yeah, that's nice. Come on, Mullen, you should be able to take him out. How much HP? This guy probably doesn't have all that much HP left, so we'll just go ahead and use Burn Flare for good measure. Ooh, now we get a combo. Uh, hey, with that Dragon Break. Nice! Oh, wow, level 9 with bows by the end of the game. That's just great. And with that, we have the Indigo Orb. But what can we do with all these orbs? Find out next time on Let's Play Grandia Parallel Trippers. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.